Let's investigate graphically how fixed points appear and disappear when in the logistic model. So we'll go to Desmos and here's our X times one minus X. I can adjust R down here. And here is the straight line Y equals X. And fixed points occur when this orange curve intersects this purple straight line. So we see two fixed points, one around here and one at zero. However, we've made the remark already that the interval from zero to one is a trapping region. That is to say, if we start between zero and one, we stay between zero and one forever. And we are assuming that we start between zero and one. So we're only really interested in fixed points in this region of the plane. This fixed point over here doesn't have any significance to us. So let's see what happens as R increases. Currently, R is close to zero. We have two fixed points, but only one of them is relevant to us. As we increase R, trying to do this gradually, we see that this fixed point over here is going from left to right. The fixed point over at zero is staying put. So as R, geez, as R increases, these fixed points get closer and closer together. And at R equals one, they merge. So Previously, we had two fixed points, only one of which was relevant to us. Now those two fixed points have merged together and we have a single fixed point. As R increases further, these fixed points unmerge. And now we have two fixed points, and they're both of interest to us. They're both in this interval that we are looking at. And that persists as R increases to four. So from two fixed points, only one of which was relevant to us, down to one fixed point, which is relevant to us, to two fixed points again, and this time both of them are relevant 